It was revealed in Parliament today that the new draft constitution prepared by the Experts Committee had been rejected. Six members of the team of ten have signed this and four have not. This draft had been prepared together by Jayampati Vikram Ratna, Sumandiran and Suren Fernando. For the first time, the president can be removed by the prime minister, speaker and the opposition leader by working together. The constitution was prepared by all in parliament as well as all the parties. So how can three to four people draft a constitution? One of those who signed the document has not visited the country in six months. This is a serious issue because MP Jayampati Vikramaratna had told the newspaper that the draft constitution will be presented on the 18th. There was a meeting chaired by the Prime Minister yesterday. When this was being looked into, there was a conflict of opinions among those consultants. Do not always think you can look at that side and give them the opportunity. You are the speaker. We are presenting facts with respect. It was rejected at the steering committee. It is an important matter. The final proposal was that the team of consultants must reach an agreement and then produce a document. It has been rejected by the experts panel. It is to be re-discussed among them. This is a zero draft. Large-scale corruption investigations running into billions of rupees appears to be going nowhere. Elections are due in under two years' time. There are growing concerns that in spite of the various investigations, closure appears far off the horizon. Some of the high-value items that the Commission of Inquiry that has not started looking at includes cancellation of three A350-900 aircraft on lease value rupees 14.3 billion. Extra cost of nearly 2 million US dollars for failing to return an Airbus A320 aircraft leased from an Indian company. Losing the EASA or European Aviation Safety Agency certification over a number of shortcomings. The Presidential Commission of Inquiry into the issuance of bonds where the losses have been estimated by experts at over 600 billion rupees over 30 years is yet to see any prosecutions based on the recommendations of the COI. With the elections fast approaching, there is growing concern that no meaningful progress will be made in terms of bringing accountability and responsibility. The 12th of March declaration asking the people to vote wisely and ensure the criminal and corrupt elements should not be elected to serve in parliament has taken on a new and urgent meaning.